good morning. I hope that you all are doing really well and having a really great day. It is absolutely beautiful here right now. It's supposed to get up to 83, I think, but right now it's like 60 and it is just perfect. <laughs> so this morning I went out to Walmart because I wasn't able to go last night and I left out of the house and it was really quiet. And then as soon as I walked outside, it was like I had entered like a large city or something. Like the birds were just chirping and talking to each other. Like it was just so funny. Like I just stood there for a second listening to them. It was just, it was a really neat experience. Um, I guess I need to get out earlier in the morning more often because that was nice. But today I went to Walmart and then yesterday I went to Publix and Food Lion and I got some really great deals. Before I go into my haul, I wanted to tell you all about a deal at Food Lion. I didn't take um, advantage of it, but it was at Food Lion and I want to say Giant and another grocery store was participating. But when you spend $15 in general meal products, then you would get a $15 gift card for whichever store you're shopping at. So if it's Food Lion, then you would get a $15 um, Food Lion gift card. And I think it's by mail. Um, but I'll leave the information for that down below because it's a really great deal. Like I've never seen it where it was like 15 for 15. So that's a great offer. But let me share our menu plan for the week. So last night we had pancakes and sausage. We're going to have a date night. One night I'm really excited about that. And the kids are going to have um, nuggets and like um, whatever else they're going to have at their cousin's house. So I'm just bringing nuggets. So that'll be good. I'm going to make the Thai peanut pasta salad, fried cauliflower and potato salad. So my starling is getting braces next week and he really loves fried cauliflower flour. <laughs> and even though it's not fried um, really hard, I'm not sure how like sore his mouth might be and stuff. So I wanted to prepare that for him before um, he gets his braces on because it's one of his favorites. And then we're going to have Alfredo with breadsticks and um, peas and then what is that? Oh, a cheesy rice bake and then pot pie because I have one more of my puff pastries left that I got at Hair Cedar a couple weeks ago. So I'm excited about that. But let's get into this incredible haul. So here is everything that I picked up this week. And I'm gonna start with Food Lion first. So I got these little mandarins. These were $3.99, I think, or either $2.99 for a three pound bag. I got some bananas. These ready sports, sports, sports drinks <laughs> were on sale for a dollar and then I had a dollar off of two digital so it made them 50 cent each so I picked this up for the guys they have for play football. I got some old-fashioned oatmeal. It's been a while since I um, picked it up. I told you all that we have some instant oats and so we've been making muffins with that but they requested some oatmeal so I picked that up and I want to say this was $2.99. Alexandra wanted some um, dill pickle chips so we got these. I needed baking soda. Then I saw these beautiful pineapples. These are honey glow pineapples, but they are massive and they smell really good. So I'm probably like, it just feels like it's just juice flowing in this. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna cut one of these today because they seem like they are pretty ripe. I could even smell them in the store yesterday and they just smell amazing right now. Um, and I think these were $2.19. So I picked up three of these. The Lay's potato chips were BOGO. I got some vinegar and I got some avocados. I think these are 79 cent each. I needed some great tomatoes. We picked up the Biscoff cookies. So I wanna say we tried the ones with the Biscoff cream in the middle and I don't think that we liked them but we decided to try the vanilla ones this time and they really liked them. I thought they were okay. I would eat them again, but I mean, they're nothing to write home about. Um, but they were $2.50. Yep, they were $2.50, so. And then, nope, that's what it looks. And then I got some red potatoes for um, potato salad. Growing up, I always remember my mama making her um, potato salad with white potatoes, but when I was there, um, around Easter, she had red potatoes and she was using them for her potato salad. So I thought I would give that a go too. So I think that, oh no. And I also picked up the tofurkey from Food Lion. And now I think that's everything. <laughs> and I also had $6 and some change of shopping earned that I had earned from my um, previous shopping trip. And then I earned $2 on this shopping trip. 
that was really great. So I hope I have everything on here. I think I did. Did I talk about the cauliflower? Maybe. Um, potatoes, the pineapple. Yep. So there's my shopping urn that came off 631. Incredible. And then it was 3862. And I earned the $2 in Shop and Earn. I think it was like Food Line brand items. Like I was really close to it. And then I guess when I got the baking soda and the um, vinegar, it put me over the top. So that was great. And then I got back five cent from Maryfield and nine cent on um, Fitch. I think it was because the Lay's are like a partner brand with them. So it made all of these items $36.48. So that was great. Then I went over to Publix. I had just a few things that I wanted to get from there. The dumplings were on sale, uh oh, three for 10. So I got the Korean barbecue and the Thai basil ones. So I'm really excited to get back to Trader Joe's because um, my husband said that he liked the dumplings at Trader Joe's like even better than these. And we all like um, these, like one of the kids likes the barbecue or maybe two of them like the barbecue one better than this one I can't remember but he said that those tasted even better so I'm excited to um to pick those up again but I picked these up this week then I got the Siete um, Mexican wedding cookies like I used to love these little um wedding cookies like I remember we made them in home ec class and they were one of my favorites so I'm excited to give these a try but they were on sale for $3.50 and then I had $1.50 back on Ibotta. So it made them just $2. Let me show you all the ingredients in case you're interested in them. But I've been really pleased with all of the CFA products that I've tried. And I really like the story behind it too. Um, Walmart. The Chobani oat milk is on sale BOGO. So it's $2.50 and then right in front of it, our blanket coupons for $1.50 off, so it made it just a dollar for that. The Hellman's makeup, makeup, mayo, <laughs> it's BOGO, and I had a dollar digital um, coupon, and then also 80 cent back on Fitch, so it made it like $2 for that. And then the Barilla pasta is on sale this week for BOGO, and so I think it made it like a dollar seventy-three. yeah. And I got back a dollar twenty-five for each one of them on Maryfield which is really, really great. So it made it like 40 some cent for um, each jar. So that's really great to have on hand in case of an emergency. And this is the fire roasted one. And then I just got the plain marinara one. And I think that was everything from Publix. I was gonna do the um, simple meals. You'll see that I actually um, had picked it up on here. But then I had them to take it off because my digital did not come off and it was pretty close to closing and I didn't feel like going to um, check out the, no, customer service. Yeah, so I just had them to take it off. But here is everything on here. So that was $21.20. And then I got back $1.50 from Ibotta. Um, 323 from Maryfield that was for the Barilla and then 94 cent on Fetch and like 80 cent of that was for the Hillman so that was really great oh and while I'm talking about Maryfield thank you all so much um, for everyone who has signed up for um, Maryfield using my code I really do appreciate it and also on Ibotta because someone signed up last week I think it was I got a notification so thank you so much for that I really do appreciate um, y'all support thank you so much and then lastly I went to Walmart and oh my goodness Walmart was so fun because yesterday all of these freebies popped up for the Vio Life products that I've been wanting to try um well one I thought was a regular item but it ended up not being so well let me start here first so I got some marshmallows because I told the kids that maybe this weekend we can um, do like a little campfire. I thought that would be nice. And then I just got some red pepper and a yellow pepper. I need the red pepper for something. I can't remember what it was. Hmm. Well, oh, for the pasta salad. Yeah, that pasta salad, if you all haven't tried it, like it has so many raw veggies in it. And my kids, like they just lap it up. <laughs> 
because of the peanut sauce. And so it is really, really, really good. Um, so that is for that. Let's see, the Impossible Nuggets were regular price $7.28, I think. And then I had my bought a rebate for that um, for $1.25, so it made it $6.03. Then I got these Nabisco graham crackers. Oh, it's already open. Um, but these are regular price $4.58, and I had a $2 I bought a rebate, so it made them $2.58. Alexandra tried these chili roasted pistachios a while ago, and she just is absolutely loving them. So I picked these up for her. They were $10.38, I think. And then I got some mixed veggies for my pot pie and then some broccoli just for lunch one day. The Nature's Bakery Fig Bars, we love these and we haven't had them for a while. Um, so I thought I would pick these up and they were just regular price. I needed raw cashews to make cheese sauce. This is a deal I saw um, on Nick's channel, Ohio Valley Couponer, and it's for the pop and bottle. So this is lion's mane, which is a type of um, mushroom but it says it's dairy free and the ingredients are pretty simple too. So, but this was a freebie on the, well, use an owl cause it's not an app, but you basically buy the item and then you send them your receipt after your, well, you have to tell them first. You have to give them your number first and then you submit your receipt afterwards. Um, so this was $2.98 and then I'll get back $2.98 from Al cause I just scanned it this morning. And then I also had a 10 cent. I bought a rebate for any iced coffee, so it made it free plus a 10 cent money maker. So that is really great. I needed lentils, so I picked up two bags of those and chickpeas. I got some bread and I got some cucumbers. We love these little cucumbers for snacking and cucumber sandwiches and just all things in between. I needed some yogurt, so I got the unsweetened um, coconut. Then I got some more of the grapeseed oil. I really, really um, enjoyed this oil when I picked it up from Aldi. So I'll definitely pick it up again. I think it was cheaper at Aldi, but since I didn't go there this week, I just got it at Walmart. Um, let's see what else. Oh, so these were the free items that popped up yesterday on Ibotta. And there was also one for the cheese and I thought it was the regular like cheddar cheese that I picked up before, but it was like for the just like American cheese and like some other varieties and my store doesn't carry those yet so I wasn't able to get that one but they did have this one the spinach and artichoke dip and it was $3.98 and then you get $3.98 back and it looks really flavorful so I'm excited to try this one and then the French onion dip was also $3.98 and then you get $3.98 back and then lastly, the sour, well, this one doesn't have a clear bottom, <laughs> but the sour cream was also $3.98 and you get $3.98 back. So I thought that was really great. Um, that's the great thing about Ibotta, being able to try products that are new to you and, you know, for free. So, well, you have to pay tax on it and you do have to take that into consideration when you are um, budgeting, especially if you have a tight budget, but for it to be just about free is really great and then i picked up these country crock plant creams and i maxed this deal out on ibotta because we made ice cream day before yesterday and we had one of these the recipe said that you could use um like heavy cream or like almond milk or um, coconut milk but since i have one on hand we use the country crock plant cream and the ice cream turned out so creamy it was like a home style vanilla ice cream like it was just delicious and so um, I decided to go ahead and max this Ibotta rebate out because one of the things that's recommended for braces is ice cream. So my mom and I were talking about it yesterday and she was telling me different flavors that um, she would make with my older sisters whenever they were younger. So I'm excited to try some of those out because that was our first time making ice cream. So it was a lot of fun. I would highly, highly recommend it, especially since it's getting warmer. It's just a great thing to do with kids. Um, or for anybody, because I got the idea from a date night box that Bernard and I have received. Um, but these were $3.29. Yep, and I had a $1.50. I bought a rebate, and the limit was 5 And so it made them $1.79 each, which is a really, really great deal to control whatever amount um, of sugar or whatever toppings and stuff you want in your ice cream. Basically, it was 
the plant cream, vanilla, a little bit of sugar, and you know, the rock salt and the ice to make it. So really, really um, simple and really budget friendly too. But I think that is everything. So let me share that receipt. I know I'm sort of all over the place. Please forgive me for that. <laughs> but here is everything that I picked up. And it was one ten eighty four, and then oh, I got um, back two ninety eight on on Al. Yep, for the drink, and then two cent from Fetch, five cent from Maryfield, and then twenty five no twenty two seventy nine from Ibotta. So that is really really great. But you know a lot of it was from. All of these freebies but still to get $25 of groceries back like that's amazing so it made everything from Walmart just $85 and everything in total here was $137 and one cent so I am so so tickled with that to get all of these goodies for that and I'm getting a chance to try some new items so very very excited about that um, but I hope that you all are doing really well, and I hope that you all have a really great day. Thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it, and I will see you all soon. Bye.